Welcome to everyone. Today, we will look at 10 loadouts that you can run effectively without Amped. Now, before we move into the builds here, let's understand a little bit about how Amped actually helps. So it says that it reduces weapon swap speed. And so what we're looking for is anything between 300 milliseconds and 450, give or take around 500 milliseconds for it to be a rather quick drop time for the weapon and amped normally cuts that time in half whatever the original time for the weapon is and it makes it a very useful perk but today we're going to cover the best weapons that have an effective or a very fast drop time without using amped now before we move into vanguard weapons which have taped grip and fleet and a lot of different things that can give them that swap time we have a couple of builds for modern warfare and cold war weapons that we can Keep in mind if we want to spice things up here. So the Cold War AK-47 is our first build, pretty much the meta one. Brew Suppressor, Spetsnaz RPK Barrel, Spetsnaz Grip, Fake Light 60 Round Mag, Axial Arms 3X. And this weapon has a 467 millisecond drop time, which is pretty good for an assault rifle. Second, we have the C-58, which also has a 467 millisecond drop time. And the build here is pretty much meta as well. AGC Suppressor, 18.5 inch Task Force Barrel, Field Agent Grip, 45 round jump or 50 round if you want to run that, and Axial Arms 3X. Now, lastly here, we can look at the LMG category for Modern Warfare weapons and the Bruin Mark 9. Normally, this weapon has something around 800 millisecond drop time. However, if you run the 60 round, which you probably noticed when you picked it up from the prison roof in Rebirth Island, it gives it a 367 millisecond drop time, making it effectively a amped weapon. And so the build here is Monolithic Suppressor, XRK Summit 26.8 inch barrel, TAC Laser, Integral Hybrid, or whatever side you prefer. And of course, a 60 round, which is imperative for this specific no amped build. And you can change the TAC Laser for the Commando Foregrip if you want. I just don't want to lose out on too much aim down sight speed here. For the secondaries, I want to mention some good options that you could build yourselves and enjoy them without amped, which would be the Gallo at 400 milliseconds, the LC-10, and the Tech-9 at 433 milliseconds. We do have a couple of Cold War and Modern Warfare SMGs later in the loadouts we're going to talk about, so hang tight for those. So for our first Vanguard weapon here, we're going to talk about the KGM-40. The build here is going to be the MX Silencer, the Krosnik 700mm, or the Raisdorf 720mm. You can choose between uh, eight, 8 meters of extra damage range with the 700mm, or just better control and less mobility with the 720mm. Uh, the Mark VI Skeletal, or whatever under barrel you want to use if you want to get some extra control if you're running this barrel. Uh, the 8mm Clouser 60 round, lengthened, taped grip for that increased weapon swap, tight grip on hand. VDD 22G padded and whatever site you prefer. For the Armagera here, we're going to be running the Recoil Booster, the Body 570mm Precision, M1941 Handstop, 9mm 42 round Fast Mag, Lengthened, Taped Grip, Hard Scope Quick, Emerito TA Skeletal, and the Slate Reflector. You could also change the uh, 42 round for the 60 and maybe go for Sleight of Hand or Discard, but uh, I like this setup right here and it proves sufficient it for me. Next up, the Nikita. We're going to be running the MX Silencer, the Empress 613mm BFA Barrel, the Carver Foregrip, the 50 round mag. You could also run the 60 round. You're going to lose one meter of damage range and you'll get some extra control, although a little bit less bullet velocity. So just keep that in mind. Lengthened Polymer Grip Fleet on hand Empress Notch and whatever side you prefer. I like the G16 on this one. For the Hipfire PPSH, the Oil Can Silencer, the Kovalev Skya 230mm B03P Barrel, the M1915 Steady Under Barrel, 8mm Nambu 71 Round Mags, Hollow Point, Fabric Grip, Fleet, Quick, Remove Stock, and uh, whatever site that gives you some extra control. You're only using this to get some extra control when you're hip firing. But I like the G16 so I can aim down sight if I need in close counter or close quarter encounters. Next up is the Cooper Carbine here, and we're going to be running the MX Silencer, the 22-inch Cooper Custom Barrel, the M1930 Stripe Angled, the 9mm 60-round drum, lengthened instead of compressed rounds to get that extra bullet velocity and more consistent control, taped grip, tight grip, fully loaded or on hand, Cooper 45W, and the 1229 Slate 3.25X Custom Sight, or you can use whatever you prefer. Now, next one here is the Combat Shotgun from Vanguard here, and this one is inspired 
from uh, Exact's video, and you can go ahead and check that down in the description. Uh, but we're running the M90, M97 full choke muzzle, the sawed off barrel, the M1915 steady, the 12 gauge 5 round tube, buck and slug, taped grip, sleight of hand, quick wire custom state reflector. This can be tweaked a little bit with the magazine and the ammunition, but I like this build specifically. And uh, again, you're getting that extra drop time uh, speed, so it's beneficial for this non amped loadout. Next up is the Automaton here. Now, we have a build that actually keeps control and the aesthetics of your ISO nuclear blueprint if you do have that in your inventory, which you love to see. We're running the MX Silencer, the Zac 600mm BFA barrel, Carver foregrip 60, uh, the 75 round drum, lengthened, taped grip, tight grip, on hand, Zac Skeletal, which is the one that has pretty much most of the blueprint, and whatever side you prefer. You do have to get a little bit used to it because it kicks similar to the Krig or the Vargo, if you want to put it like that, in vertical intensity. So once you get a little bit of practice, you should be good to go and you should be able to enjoy a very nice looking automaton. Now, for the secondary here, we're running the Cold War MP5. We have the Agency Suppressor, the Tiger Team Spotlight, Bruiser Grip, Stanag 50 Round Drum, and the Collapse Stock. This weapon by itself has a 400 millisecond drop time, so you love to see it there with these non-amped loadouts moving forward here we have the ugm8 this is the full auto version here we're running the mx silencer the bernard xl2147 36 millimeter barrel that's a mouthful m1941 hand stop the sakura 125 round box so 6.5 millimeter rounds uh lengthened tape grip surveil or you can, I think I'm not running tight grip because of, uh, it didn't really give you enough control. You could run nerves of seal. This one actually helps very well when you're getting shot or you get hurt. So this is an actually very strong option. It just throws you off if you're shooting and the recoil pattern just changes suddenly. Uh, fully loaded or on hand, Romwald TAC YR stock and whatever site you prefer. And for the second there, we're running the Blixen, pretty much inspired by J God's build uh, that he shared very recently. You can check that in the, uh, description box below but we're running recoil booster bergstrom 17 inch f3 barrel mark 6 skeletal the gorenko 54 round mags hollow point hatch script fleet on hand bergstrom mb stock i think j god was running the no stock but i prefer the bergstrom here uh slate reflector and you're pretty much good to go for the rapid swap blixen Next up, we have the Volksturm Gewehr. Now, for this one, we're running the same tried and true build that we had from the very beginning, actually, which is surprising. Consistency here. Kudos to the Volk. MX Silencer Crosslink 428mm 05B barrel. Carver foregrip, the 60 round drum. If you feel that you can't control this weapon very well, you could change to the 40. You get a very good recoil pattern here. It's just a matter of you don't have as many bullets, and this weapon doesn't hit too hard. So I'll uh, just keep that in mind. Lengthened, stipple grip, fleet, fully loaded or on hand, Krosnik S12 VPS stock, and whatever side you prefer. I really like the 1229 slate 3.25x custom for the Volk. Now for the second there, we're running the Modern Warfare MP5. Uh, and this is one of the two builds that I normally use. It's a monolithic integral suppressor, attack laser, 45 round mag, stipple grip tape, and sleight of hand. You can also run a uh, the classic hip fire build here, which is the monolithic integral suppressor, the 5 milliwatt laser, Merc 4 grip, 45 round, and stipple grip. I just like the sleight of hand, so you can just change those as you like. But there you have the Modern Warfare MP5, which actually has a drop time of 433 milliseconds. Next up is the STG-44. Now, for this one, we're running MX Silencer, the Krosnik 620mm Precision, because this is specifically the 7-0 recoil first bullet build. So the first seven bullets are at a zero recoil, no matter what magazine you run. Uh, so the Krosnik 620mm, this only happens with this barrel. You could also just change to the 760, although the recoil pattern for the 760 is now higher for all magazine types, if I don't ill recall. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Carver foregrip, whatever magazine you want, the 50, the 60, or the 45. Lengthened, taped grip, acrobatic, which I really love for the movement. On hand, constans, tactical, and I really like the 1229 Slate 3.25X or the G16 for the STG44. Now, next one here is the Cold War OTS-9. The Gru Suppressor, the 8.1 inch Task Force, Mounted Flashlight, VDV 40 round fast mag, and No Stock, which is pretty much the meta build if you 
ever see one for the OTS. And uh, the drop time for this weapon is 430 milliseconds, so you love to see it there. Now for the bar and the NZ41, these both have the taped grip within their builds. However, for some reason, the actual drop time does not affect these weapons. So hopefully these get fixed at any time soon. But these would be the builds that you would be able to run without amped once these are actually addressed. For the bar, we're going to be running the recoil booster, the CGC 30 inch XL barrel, the M3 ready grip, the 0.50 BMG 60 round mag, lengthened tape grip, hard scope on hand, Chariot WR stock and whatever optic you prefer. This weapon is pretty much a zero recoil bar. It just shoots rather slow. So it's a, a bigger of a skill gap here on, or an unforgiven weapon if you miss your shots. But it's extremely fun to use. And this is one of my personal favorites in Warzone currently. Now for the secondary here, we're running my favorite Marco 5 build. The recoil booster, the Emerito. 342mm 04P barrel, the M1941 handstop, 8mm Curse 36 round mags, lengthened tape grip, discard on hand emerito, FR stock, and the slate reflector there. And for the NZ41, we're going to be running the Mercury Silencer, Orb Weaver 360mm uh, BC barrel, the Carver foregrip, the 6.5mm Sakura 50 round mag, lengthened tape grip, discard, fully loaded or on hand, Ravenwood padded specifically for this barrel, and whatever optic you prefer here. Again, tape grip doesn't work for this one or the bar, but uh, eventually if they do get fixed, then you will have a non amped successful setup for those two the secondary for the nz41 is the type 100 again you can build pretty much all vanguard weapons for a non-amped loadout type of build like these but these are the ones that i would prefer to go with and a couple of interesting ones as well but we're running the recoil booster the wadobachi 134 millimeter rapid barrel m1941 hand stop the russian short 36 round mags lengthened taped grip sleight of hand quick wadobachi skeletal and the state reflector this is mostly inspired by j god's build so I took it from there and it had the tape grip already, so kudos to him. And there you have the Type 100 for the NZ41 non-amped build. As you saw from all of these, I am running Quick Fix, Overkill, and Combat Scout on all of these. These are pretty much my favorite perks so far, but you can definitely go with whatever you prefer. Now, these loads are all aimed to give you a more varied experience in the third perk category specifically. And in all honesty, you should be able to find a perfect build for that restock, tempered, or ghost loadout. Uh, that maybe you love to just kind of pick up first and maybe uh, if you want to run something different in your third perk and want to have a weapon that is still viable to swap as quickly as possible in gunfights then you can run one of these taped grip options because i really think they are as flexible as they come now i would love to read from you if any of these builds was helpful and if you will try or already have tried any of them and found success in your gunfights i will let the rest of the video run here with a showcase of pretty much all the weapons and uh, if you did like the video then go ahead and click that like button down below i would really appreciate it if you're not part of the channel go ahead and subscribe to keep up to date with all the regulars for it and uh, if you do have a friend, recommend the video to them. If you do know a content creator, maybe recommend it to them as well. But with nothing else left to say, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And through it all, I hope you always remember. Oh, and uh, if you click on this video at the end, you'll see a compilation of probably the best gas plays you've ever seen. From Sauce Time Gaming. <laughs> Careful, mine.
Una bala ¡Qué es esto sin más necio! ¡Muérase! Vale, eso no es para nada Segundo piso Mira, te vas a morir. 